welcome to the channel man this is cameron at cameraman fishing and as you guys see by the title and thumbnail and even behind us we're gonna be doing some kayaking today man so we got the kayak right over there aka big bird man we're gonna be doing some upgrades to the kayak so i'm gonna look, just let you guys know man these are some great upgrades if you guys like this thing let me know in the comment section below let me know what is your favorite upgrade upgrade that i actually added to the kayak so let me know in the comment section below but let's go ahead and jump inside this thing remember to like comment subscribe guys and if you're new to the channel i'll pop up my qr code right here and you guys can always just scan this and this will bring you straight to my channel and easy access to subscribe from right there so remember to go ahead and do that and i'll get you guys on the way man i was starting off with thing number one and that is the dolly man the dolly makes it so much easier to carry in this kayak you no longer have to carry this thing over your head on your shoulders or to man it down to a pond because it makes it so much easier you can just load this thing up as you guys can see it kind of jacked up right now but it looks pretty good so as you guys see um makes it so much easier but the best part about it is you can actually load up all your fishing gear onto the kayak and uh as you guys see it makes it so much easier getting all your stuff down on the kayak and then getting ready to get out to the water and get straight to fishing and get straight to business. So moving on to the next thing, as you guys see right here, some Velcro on this side, and as you guys see right here, some Velcro on that side as well. So we added some Velcro for one, for this little Penta box, cheap. I think this thing was like a dollar, maybe cheaper than a dollar, but I'll keep my foam in this. Something that's kind of behind this bungee, so that's a little bit more secure, shouldn't go anywhere. But I added some Velcro to this side because I actually have a pouch that I left at home that I will kind of keep my pliers in that will go something like this and then my pliers as well which i left at home too and we got this kind of little uh tethering cord right here to kind of secure this to this um bungee right here whenever i'm putting my uh pliers and um and scissors into the pouch so moving on to the very next thing we actually added um a little bit more storage to the kayak and that is this little nice milk cart right here and this thing is very great for making some more extra storage into the kayak but not only that you can carry a little bit more so i got some tackle right there i usually will carry some um tackle in, inside or i will carry some tackle inside the um, milk cake but i got some extra stuff in there as you guys can see we got some tackle and we got this little bag right here where i usually carry my chest mount my gopro stuff and probably some snacks and stuff like that a little bit more along the way and then uh, that just makes it so much easier. I feel like a kayak, every kayak angler needs a milk crate. It just makes it so much easier to put all your stuff in there and just carry it to the kayak and bam, instead of one thing at a time. So the very next thing we actually added was um, the anchor man. It is very fun being on a kayak. You can actually get around places that folks cannot actually get onto. And it just makes it so much better being able to get in some of them shallow spots. But what, but what is not so fun is actually being blown around when it's a windy day out on the water. Now today, actually, it's not so windy today, but um, that anchor is gonna come in handy even for today, whenever I just kind of, ooh, was that a fish right there? But I kind of want to uh, stay in one spot and kind of fish one angle. I can use that anchor to kind of keep me a little bit secure. It's not so heavy, I think it's about a, a one pound, a pound and a half, I, I believe, is the weight. And we can actually double up on that weight as well um, if you wanted to, or even get a bigger size. So there it goes right there. And I actually um, kind of bolted that down to this milk crate that makes it easier too. You're actually supposed to bolt that down to your kayak, but I didn't want to drill any holes or anything. So I actually drilled it right to my milk crate. And I think that's gonna be a little bit more dope, man. So moving on to the um, next thing, our last and final thing, probably one of the best upgrades that I could have upgraded to my kayak and that is this beauty right here the Garmin Scriker portable kit man so this actually came as a um, bundle um, pretty much a portable kit like I said that's why you guys see this bag right here um, but yeah it came as a bundle I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what that bundle would look like or what it came or what it looked like straight out the box so I'm gonna go ahead and play that video right there for you guys Alright guys, so you see that thing, man, she's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and get a nice little unzip. Excuse my ashy hands, but man, there she goes. Still got the plastic on her. She's looking pretty good, so I'm gonna actually get her on out of this whole case, guys. And this actually came with a nice little carrying bag, so it kind of sits on this little swivel. I'm gonna put the camera down just like I said, came with this bag, makes it easily, mad easily to uh, make it portable right there. I mean, it's just a perfect little bag. But yeah, like I said, just sits on this little bracket right here. Got a place for the battery right here. Coming came with the battery connectors. Um, the only downside to this is, uh, I guess, to, to, to it, I guess, to an extent, 
because I guess the way I'm, I'm trying to fish it is the fact that it came with a short power cord, which makes sense for this setup. You don't really need a longer power cord. So I do have another power cord on the way, a little bit longer one, because I'm gonna set it on that, um, that mount and actually put the uh, transducer on that mount as well. I'm not really gonna rock this. Uh, I will actually have this in the kayak, which it will only be for the battery. It won't even be for the fish finder or the transducer. So like I said, it came with this little suction mount, little uh, for the mount for the transducer. You just smack this on the side of your kayak. The only thing is, I don't think it's trustable. I don't think you could depend on that. So I was gonna go two ways with that, like I said. I was gonna go with the um through the scupper hole mount, but then I actually ended up buying that um transducer and fish finder mount. Did you guys see? Um we actually made this thing to be um fit for the kayak. We got this little um mount right here. This is the Garmin Scrape or this is the Scotty mount. What is this? I forgot what number this is, but it's the Scotty mount. You had to actually get a gear head. And then this little um, mount right here, this was separate. You had to buy this separate. And this is the Scotty mount 368. I know that for heart because I had to find that thing. It was like, I had to actually order that online because they didn't have it in store, but it's how cool. And we got our um, transducer right here. I was actually gonna go a different route and I was actually gonna put my Scotty mount right below in that uh, scupper hole right there. And I was gonna use some PVC into that and uh, make that secure. And I thought that would have been a little bit dope, but we ended up needing a um, this Scotty Mount 368. So that's why I did not do that. And I just went ahead and um, put my um, transducer right onto the mount since it came with it, because we could not mount the um, actual um, fish finder head onto the um, Scotty Mount right here if we didn't need, or because we needed this 368. So that was pretty cool. We got the fish finder. Now we can uh, add a little bit more help onto the boat when finding these fish and we no longer can just kind of go around and some of these higher percentage spots. Now we can kind of go around the ponds or even lakes. And guys, I'm definitely going to be fishing more lakes this um, come spring, summer. I'm going to be getting into the lakes now that I have a fish finder. So it'll make it a whole lot easier for me to find some of these fish. But now that we talked about um, my upgrades to my kayak, I want to get a little bit more into what, um, what kind of upgrades do I want to um, do to my kayak in the future so i'm gonna put my camera onto my uh tripod and i'll get back with you guys right here Alrighty, guys so now that i got you guys on the tripod let's talk about a little bit my upgrades that i want to do in the future to the kayak so number one i am definitely wanting to add another gopro to the kayak for one um the gopro is another extra gopro is going to be so much useful i already know so many ways but my number one reason for adding it to the kayak is actually going to be to capture a little bit different um footage or not necessarily footage, but a different view. So most people like to put their can the extra camera in the back of their kayak, and they kind of get that wide back view of what you guys see already from the camera mount. But I actually want to get that front to face to face, one v one kind of conversation whenever I catch a fish, or I'm telling you guys how I caught that fish, or even how I'm gonna go and start about my day. So that's gonna be my idea of um, adding a extra um, GoPro to the kayak. But not only that, I wanna add an extra GoPro to myself as well. So whenever I have an extra person that fishes with me, like Charlton, like Carlos, like um, like my boy Jared. So whenever they go fishing with me, I can actually um, give them a GoPro and they can actually capture some footage um, for themselves as well for me to put into the video. I know it's gonna be a little bit hard for them because they never really used a GoPro like that, but I kind of walked them through that. And, uh, we can make the adjustments with that. So there goes um, one of my upgrades that I do want to do in the future that will be coming soon. And then my second upgrade that I actually want to do to the kayak is kind of badass. So I kind of want to add some power poles to the kayak to give it a little bit of, um, I feel like adding those will probably be a little bit better than that weight. I won't have to necessarily pull that weight up all the time. And I could definitely rig that up to where I would kind of just have to um, almost like putting down my rudder system. So the way my rudder system is, you pull from the top side that'll actually pull it up and pull it down is to pull it out or something like that. But anyways, I could rig the uh, weight system just like that, but I think the power pulls would be pretty full. So I can go about that two different ways. I can actually do a DUI kind of power pose or I can get some power posts that's already made and kind of custom rig them to my kayak. So let me go, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about that and how I should go about that way if you guys know anything about power poles and kayaks or even power poles and just in general. So let me go, let me know in the comment section below. My last and final thing I want to do to the kayak is guys, 
is raise my kayak sea. As you guys know, the spawn, the bedding fishing is coming soon. So I want to get out on the water and fish these, uh, or fish some of the spawn and bedding time on the kayak. It, it's easier on the bank. Don't don't get me wrong, but being on the uh, being on a boat, it probably would, I feel like it would be a little bit easier. Being especially with the kayak, you can kind of get away from that fish. And if my seat is a little bit higher, I can see those beds a little bit easier and cast onto them kind of pick those fish one off at a time so i think um rising my seat will probably benefit me a whole, a whole lot better when it comes to bedding and um spawn time not only that but just being out on the water you're just out there your feet's level your body's level it's not too low but the seat isn't wrong with that it's comfortable don't get me wrong i love my seat on that kayak so i just a little suggestion but anyways my um also i already know what i need to actually upgrade that or make get that seat to rise up a little bit. I actually would need like six, um, six one inch T PVC pipes, and then also I would need a one inch PVC pipe that I will actually cut to my desired height. And it should look a little something like this right here, um, and that's how it should be. So there goes there goes some of my upgrades to my kayak I want to do in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed me um, showing you guys some of my kayak upgrades to my kayak so with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and get the fishing i got a little bit of time but to get on some of these fish i hope you guys like this remember to like comment subscribe and uh catch me on the next video because i'm gonna be catching the fish boys let's go